Hi, this is Meenakshi Jolly. I hope you find this useful. We will talk about what are some of the common side effects of steroids like prednisone. So as I mentioned in some of my other recordings, steroids are an important part of treatment of patients with lupus. You may need to take it frequently for flares when your disease is active or under not a good control since these medicines uh, tend to take care of the inflammation in a very quick manner and in a very efficient way. This is sort of like a band-aid to take care of any injury that happens because it happens quickly. However, for treatment of lupus, you need other medicines that would take place of the prednisone over time. And then prednisone needs to be slowly taken away. Um, prednisone is not a medicine that you can stop suddenly by yourself because that can be really life-threatening. Um, do talk to your doctor when you want to stop or get off this medication. Um, uh, do it along with your doctor. Now, there are several side effects um, that come along with this that um, we do take into account as doctors while prescribing these medicines. However, any medicine, anything we do has some benefits and some um, side effects or uh, not so good things. So while it provides quick control of lupus or its uh, flares, it comes at the cost of some potential side effects. With prednisone or any other steroids, common things are weight gain because it increases your appetite. Uh, over the long term, it can make your sugars go up, your blood pressure go up, it can give you stretch marks, can give acne or hair on your face. Um, in addition, it can make your bones weak. Uh, called osteoporosis that can develop and lead to fractures. It can cause cataracts over a period of time as well as can cause uh, poor circulation to part of the bones leading to pieces of dead bone uh, in the joints, commonly what we refer to as avascular necrosis. Um, and this can give a lot of pain in the joints. Um, these can happen with prolonged use of steroids. Now there are other problems that can also happen with steroids including heart problems um, such as heart attacks uh, and such. Um, these side effects should be looked for and discussed with your doctor. You do, you do need to take calcium and vitamin D when you're taking steroids um, to prevent your bones from getting weak. Uh, if you're going to be on uh, a moderate dose of prednisone anywhere above 10 milligrams of uh, prednisone every day and if you need to be on prednisone for more than three months then you should also discuss with your doctor if you need to be on any medicines to keep your bones strong um, some of the medications in people with weak bones to begin with might be things called bisphosphonates or you might have heard of the name Fosamax, Actonel and some other variety of medications to make your bones strong. Um, bone mineral density is a test that people should get and these are done every two years in patients that are at high risk for osteoporosis or if you've had fractures previously.